Ko Nichiwa Minan Sisakura, and you're watching PokeCost. Today's video is going to be my Sega Saturn collection as of right now. I really wanted to get this system back. So I was really happy when I had the opportunity. And I went ahead and I went with a, a Japanese system just because. I had no desire to collect an American collection due to the fact that they are so expensive for a lot of the games I actually wanted. So I decided I'm going full Japanese collection. Um, it was just a lot easier and that's what you guys are going to see is a Sega Saturn Japanese collection. And I'm pretty happy with what I've gotten and there's a couple of them that are like Hmm, I did not know that when I picked them up. So, hope you guys enjoy um, my Sega Saturn collection. Starting off, I want to show you which uh, Saturn I have, and that is a nice gray Saturn. I really love the color. Um, I would have liked to have gotten a white one or one of the limited editions, but I didn't want to spend that much money. I was able to finally get a decent price on a memory card. And the only thing I'm missing is my VCD card which I need for a couple of my games. Alright, starting off we're going to go with one of my collector's editions I have and that is Melty Lancer Genga Shoujo Kaisetsu 2086. This one I have not played so I really don't know but it comes with uh, some soundtrack, a really nice little case to hold all the rest of the uh, soundtracks you get, I guess. So this is one of those weird ones. Just it was a good price, picked it up. Next collector's edition I have is Sakura Tyson limited edition reprint. Uh, and the reason I'm really excited to have this is because I really wanted to get myself the mouse for the Saturn, and it came with that. So you got you know two CDs, a mouse pad, stickers, an entire map, and on the other side it's a poster. This one I absolutely had to get, and I'm very happy to have it. Have not played it yet, but I had to pick this one up because I actually really like Sakura Tyson. Here we have Puzzle and Action To Do Arukoto wa Sarar. And it's basically a compilation of mini games, kind of like almost Warriors Wear almost. Uh, it's a lot of fun. This one I actually really enjoyed. Next to that is 3x3 Eyes, uh, Kayo Sai Koshos S. Based off of the anime, um, I honestly haven't played it yet, so I couldn't really say, but I love collecting anime games, so I was a must get for the Saturn. Here we got Airs Adventures and All Japan Pro Wrestling f featuring Virtue. Air Adventures I have not played yet, so I couldn't say. And then uh, Pro Wrestling is actually not too bad. It is your typical wrestling game featuring um, Virtual in it. Basically, the computer cheats like crazy, and unless you're really, really good and know all the buttons, you're never going to win. Here we have Dio Kyo C If, and we have Bak. Go Ryusu Hunter or Sorcerer Hunter. Um, for the first game, it is one of the more mature ones. It does have a yellow rating. Uh, I think this one is a um, dating sim. And then we have Bakoruso Hunter, which is, I believe, this one is a visual novel slash RPG. And it's weird. But I love it because it's based off of an anime I actually enjoy. Here we got Choji Ko Yosai Mekras Ai Obete Imasu Ka and Blue Seed. Yeah, we have at least one that has an easy day. Um, Mekras, if I remember correctly, this one is a shmop and actually not too bad. Blue Seed is an RPG and really good. It is another one that I think the reason why this one got a yellow rating is because one of the gags in the anime is her style of panties that changes every day. Um, 
I think that's probably one of the main reasons. But uh, Lucy's actually really good and fantastic RPG. Need to sit down and play a little bit more of that one. Here we have Big Ichigichi Pachislat Taikyoro Ku Universal Museum and Black Matrix Reprint. Uh, the first one, it, well, it's a Pachi slot or a slot machine game, and the only hot girl is literally on the cover. It is completely deceiving, in case you were wondering. But it's actually a lot of fun. You have a ton of tables to play. Really enjoyed that one. Black Matrix, I have not played yet, so I couldn't really say on that one. They look good, so I picked it up. Here we have Elf O Karu Mono Tachi and Enemy Zero, both of which I am so excited to have. Basically, this the first game is Those Who Hunt Elves, and it's a visual novel. And then, actually, I think it's more point and click. I could be uh, mixed up with the PlayStation One game. But anyway, it's either one or the or, but it's actually pretty cool. Not easy. And then, of course, Enemy Zero is the second game in the D series. Haven't played it yet, so I really couldn't say anything about it. I need to correct that soon, though. <laughs> Alright, we have Fighters Mega Mix and Ibu Rogi. Um, Fighters Remix is basically a compilation fighter, or kind of like the King of the Fighters, with the uh, Sega fighting games for the Saturn. It's actually really cool, and I love how everybody kind of has their own theme that works. It's, it's uh, pretty nice. Then the next game I haven't actually played yet. I believe it's a dating sim or visual novel. Next we have Funky Head Boxers and Hokoto no Ken. Funky Head Boxers is a really fun boxing game. It's absolutely silly and it is possible to beat the game because they don't go oh we hate the human a hundred percent of the time and then of course Hoko to no Ken or Fifth of the North Star is a fighting game uh, and I haven't tried this one yet but I had to pick it up because I like to collect that particular series without a doubt here we have Goiken Moyo Anarchy in Nippon. Then Idol Mongjong Final Romance 2. The first one I believe is a point and click adventure. Um, and then the next one is my first AO game. It is basically Strip Mongjong. The better you do against the girls, the more they lose. And it only goes to the point of Topless doesn't go completely nude, but I was like, oh, Mongjong game, and I picked it up and then realized, oh, 18 on it. And uh, so when I find out the Sega Saturn is one of the systems in Japan that actually gets AO games. Here we have Gen C Battle Cosplayer and Mayo no Gen C Boi 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 Mei. And both of them are basically uh, Mongjong games. Uh, the first one is, to what I understand, you get to unlock other cosplay outfits for the girls to wear, I think. I haven't played this one yet, so I don't know 100% what you have to do. And then the other one is basically you're fighting to be the best um, sorcerer or something like that. Um, actually really good, I like... Um, how the gameplay is and it's actually a good game and it's another one of the yellow ones so that means that there will be some Ichi stuff in there. Here we have Kin Kon Marriage and My Dream on Erga Mate Na Kochi or Kote. <laughs> I know I'm saying some of these wrong, I do apologize. But that's what you come to realize when <laughs> I try my Japanese. Uh, first one is a dating sim that leads to marriage. Haven't tried it yet, so I don't know. And the second one is another dating sim. Have not played it yet, so at the same time, I can really tell you about either of these. 
Here we have Night Truth uh, number two, Maria, and Night Truth voice selection radio drama Hen. Basically, Night Truth is a horror um, mystery uh, visual novel. I've only played the PlayStation 1, which is the first game, and then the next one is a, is a drama, but you have to have the VCD card to be able to play this one. And I would love to do that just to see what it's all about. So I'm really excited that I actually have the whole Night Truth series um, voice selections. Here is Night Truth explanation of the paranormal making of Night Truth 2 voice selection and no no mora voy en no hito bito. Um, like I said, I have the whole uh, voice selection uh, collection. This is the next one where it's more of the making of the game. Fortunately, like I said, I can't play any of them, sadly. Next we have over here is my next game, which is AO. It is a hentai uh, visual novel. I literally did not understand this until after I had bought them. <laughs> and now I know about the rating system about the Saturn. Um, I have played the game. I actually have a video of it up on YouTube of of course it being clean because well, I can't get very far in the game and I don't think I will try. <laughs> Alright, here is Pachislat Kanzin Kir Ryo sorry Ria Ko Yuni Kori 97. Um, I don't know if I've actually tried this one. This is the problem when you have too many games. You forget which ones you have played and which ones you thought you have tried. That one I haven't tried. And right here is the last one for the Night Truth voice uh, selection. So this is Night Truth explanation of the paranormal, the making of Night Truth voice selection. Another one, on, like I said, I can't play it due to the fact I don't have the VC card and able to do so. Here is Sakura Tyson 2 limited edition and then the Sai... Sai? Uh, Chotron or Psychotron. Um, Sakura Tyson 2 is another um, point and click adventure as far as I understand haven't yet to play it and then the other one is a point and click adventure where you are playing as a, a CIA agent or CIA agent in America trying to prevent World War 3 I don't understand the story 100% but it's a point and click and it's not easy here's a closer look at Sakura Tyson 2 um, it's a three disc long uh, game. You got another map with it and a nice little booklet over there. So I just wanted to show you guys what was in the collector's edition. Here we have Sakura Tyson Joki Radio Show and SD Gundam G Century S. Um, I think. The, the, the Sakura Tyson is a visual novel and then it comes with another disc which is actually uh, a, a drama that they put on on stage but you do need the VCD card to watch it and then of course SD Gundam is a tactical base RPG um, just like the rest of the series and I haven't tried it yet but I love this series and I try to get every game I possibly can. Alright, well here we have Shanghai Great Moments and Shin Megami Tyson Devil Summoner. Um, Shanghai is just that, it's a Shanghai or Mangzhong Shanghai. Um, it's one of the more recent ones I picked up. Haven't played it yet, but I love Shanghai. Sometimes I'll have to do through some of those. And then of course Devil Summoner, I had to absolutely get this. Um, I know you can get it in English for the 3DS, I think it is, but I like to get the original release, and so I did. Haven't played either of these, unfortunately. 
Here we got Shining Wisdom and Sega Ages Ryoka ni Ichiden R. Um, haven't played either. I think the first one's an RPG and the other one I have no idea. So two more games I need to try out. All right, right here is Sin Shiki Evangelion reprint and Shin Siki Evangelion Second Impression. Um, if I remember correctly, this is an action tactical base fighter. <laughs> I guess that's the best way to describe it. Um, it's a very unique uh, system, how they have it set up. It's kind of what they do in all of theirs. Um, it's good, but definitely has a learning curve with it and I haven't played part two yet so I don't know if it's the exact same or not but I'm very happy to have I think I have a whole collection for the Saturn I believe here we have Sin Psyche Evangelion digital card library and Shoujo Kakumi Yutuna Isuka Kami, sorry, Kakumi Sariru Monogatari. Man, I messed that up a lot. But um, so the first one is a digital card library. I guess there was a uh, training card game or something, and this helps you keep track of your cards, as far as I understand. And then the other one is a visual novel. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, I had so much fun trying out that game. I highly recommend this one just because it's it's really well done. Here we have Sushi Mangjon Dai Set Tai and So Su Gyo 2 New Generation. Uh, of course, the first one is a Mongjong game. I haven't tried it yet, but I love picking up Mongjong games. As you can see with, I think this is the fourth one in the collection of it being a Ricci Mongjong. And then over here, this is a dating sim where you are basically a teacher dating his students, as far as I understand how the series goes. I don't think I've tried that one yet. I lose track. <laughs> here we have Han Jo S debut and sound novel Sukuru 2. The first one is another dating sim. I haven't tried it yet, so I can't really say. Um, it will be Ichi since it is a yellow label. And then we have the sound novel. And basically, think of a, um, a visual novel, but instead they have focus on it being more like a radio play so you have a lot more um, sound effects in there and so that's why I really like sound novels and it's actually the same guys who do the uh, RPG maker so I had to absolutely pick that up. Here we have Super Robot Tyson F and Tetris S. Super Robot Tyson F is another one of those tactical RPGs which is absolutely amazing I believe I've tried this one but it's basically where you get it's a, a crossover story where you have to play as heroes that drive mechs and you're trying to stop all the bad guys from taking over the universes and you play basically chess uh, in a sense really 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 fun game Tetris S well the S stands for sucks uh, basically, it's one of the worst Tetris games I own, <laughs> but it's still entertaining to play. So it's one of those I'd say, pick it up just because it's a Tetris game, but don't expect much when my super light Tetris game for the PlayStation 1 is better than this one. Here we have Toki Miki Memorial Selection, Fuji Saki Shiroi and Tokimiki Mem Memorial Drama Series Volume 1 Nichiro no Saishin Basically these are dating sims and I'm trying to get the whole series I have not played any of them just yet so I couldn't really say how good they are or how bad they are but 
I like to collect this series just because I like the artwork on the outside, so hopefully I get the same stuff in the inside too. Here is another one. This is Toki Miki Memorial Forever With You Limited Edition and Tour Party Sosekyo Ryokyo Ni Iko. Um, of course, the first one is a visual novel, limited edition, and then the one over here, you think, oh, it's going to be another a dating sim just like the one before it, but no, this is actually a uh, board game based off of that series. So I'm very curious to see what that one's going to do, and that's why I instantly had to pick it up because I'm, it's another one of the series I'm just trying to get my each of the games to. Real quick, here's just a look at the collector's edition right here. And really the only special things it comes with is that leather case and a art book and that's really it. But I had to pick it up because, well, limited edition and it's part of a series that I do like to collect. Here we have Ultraman Hikari no Kyojin Daisetsu and Virtual Fighter CG Portrait series volume 4 Panchan. Uh, Ultraman is a fighting game and you do have to use a expansion pack so it's one of those games where you want to make sure that you download your save file and then re-upload your save file just make sure you keep it because you lose your uh, memory card slot and then this game over here is another one that you actually have to have the VCD to play it. I didn't realize that when I tried it out and it basically goes at a snail's pace and just kind of skips around so you do need the VCD card to be able to play this game. Here's a closer look at uh, Ultraman and I wanted to show you guys what the uh, expansion pack looks like and you cannot play this game without the expansion pack in there so you need to make sure you keep it and I think the only other games that we really require are the King of the Fighter games so that's what that is. Here we have Virtual Heidland and Virtual Fighter Kids. First one is a I believe a first person or a third person 3D RPG which I've been told is absolutely horrendous have not played it yet so I can't give you my personal opinion on it and Virtual Fighter Kids oh, it's one of my absolute favorite Virtual Fighter games ever made um, just so much fun they actually did a good job on it and I love this game the final two games of the collection we have with you Mi Su Miti Itai and Waku Waku Poyo Poyo Dungeon the first game is a visual novel or a dating sim. Well, both, but I think it's a dating sim. And the other one is a rogue dungeon featuring characters from Poyo Poyo universe. And it is absolutely amazing. Abs the game is just phenomenal. Um, I had to go with the uh, Saturn version only because the PlayStation version did not sell as well so it's way more expensive so I was so excited to actually get that game part of the collection and it is fun it's brutal though so one I highly recommend for anybody who's looking for a good roguelike dungeon and of course loves Poyo Poyo um, universe because that's the characters you get to have fun with and that is my Sega Saturn collection as of right now. I am always keeping my eyes open for great deals for I can continue to grow my collection. And of course get any of my collector's editions as possible. You know, why not? It is a wonderful system. There's a ton of amazing games that got released to it. The downside is I do need to get myself a VCD card. They're roughly about 100 to 170 for it. And make sure you actually get the right card because you don't want to get the European card by accident, which will not be compatible with your Japanese system. But after I get that, I'll have full access to all games and all VCDs. 
which will be really nice because there are certain games that uh, they use the VCD to help play the movies in RPGs and other games so it's actually essential to have and able to have full access to all the games. Uh, the Sega Saturn definitely is one system worth getting due to the horrible marketing of it here in the United States is why it died off too fast in my personal opinion and sadly a lot of the really really good games didn't come out to the United States so it's a tragedy, travesty and that's why I decided to go with the Japanese system only um, I just need to get a action replay and then I can do some of the American games but due to the price differences I'd rather just stick with the Japanese collection so, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If there's any questions, let me know down in the comments, or if there's any games I definitely need to pick up, also put it down in the comments uh, below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, thanks again for enjoying uh, talk, you know, me talking about my collection, and I, I'm looking forward to doing the rest of the, the collections where you guys can see what other crazy things I've been able to find. Thank you guys for watching this Tisa Curse saying ciao and sayonara.